Hi guys, and in today's video, we'll be showing you scientific notation, also known as standard form. If you watch our videos or if you're into STEM, then you'll find this hopefully very interesting and useful. Um, you may find scientific notation, it may look really complex at first, but in reality, it's actually really, really simple. Um, at the end of the video, we have got this cool quiz for you to test your knowledge on. Um, it's on our website, link should be in the description or come up on the screen. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. Scientific notation is just a simpler way of writing really, really, really big numbers or really, really, really small numbers. In my country, we sometimes call this standard form. The mass of planet Earth is approximately 6 septillion kilograms. I've written it down here, and at a glance, could you spot how many zeros there are there? Unless you're some sort of genius, you'll find it quite hard to do with just one glance. But if we put this in standard form, I can straight away tell you that this big number has 24 zeros. These are the same number, but one's just written in standard form and one isn't. As I said earlier, scientific notation can also be used to represent really, really small numbers. For example, our body is made up of trillions of cells, but the average mass of just one cell is approximately 0.0000000001 kilograms, or 1 times 10 to the minus 12 in standard form. Now, you tell me which one you would prefer to use in a calculation. Well, I prefer standard form, and most scientists do too. It looks like our calculator prefers standard form as well. Instead of using loads and loads of digits to represent the number, standard form uses a smaller number multiplied by a power of 10. These are four different ways of writing the same number, 65,000. These are just a few examples, but there's so many different ways of writing 65,000. Having all these ways to write one number could get confusing. So that's why we all agree to use one, this one. That's called normalised standard form. We pick the left hand side to be between 1 and 10. So 6.5's between 1 and 10, 0.65's too, too small, and six, these two are too big. There are other types of scientific notation, such as engineering notation, but normalised standard form will get you through most situations. Let's do some examples. So let's turn. 35,600 into normalised scientific notation. The first step is to turn this number into a number between 1 and 10. How about 356? That is too big. It's bigger than 10. How about 0.356? But that's less than 1, so that's too small. 3.56? Perfect. That's between 1 and 10. So we write down 3.56. There's more to do than that to turn it into normalised standard form. But we'll come back to that step soon. Let's move on to the next one. 6.23 is between 1 and 10, so we'll write that down. 9.431 is between 1 and 10, so that is fine for the next one. You kind of find the first digit that's on the left that isn't a zero and put your decimal point after that. So here the first digit that isn't a zero on the left is an eight. So the decimal point goes after the eight, giving us 8.4. For this next one, seven is the first digit on the left that isn't a zero, so this one is 7.23. I'm going to leave this last one, 9,300, for you to do, and we'll come back to it at the end. Now let's do the last step. Now they're all gonna be times 10 to the something. Let's fill that all out. Now, what do we need to put up here? How many places do we have to move the decimal point to turn 3.56 back into 35,600? So it starts off here between the 3 and the 5. And we move it 1, 2, 3, 4 places to the right. So we put 4 up here and we finish this one. For the next one, 6.23 is much bigger than the original number. So to turn it back into the original number, we have to take the decimal point the other way, which is to the left. So our little index number will be minus something. 
it will be a negative number. Let's count one, two, three, four, five. So this will be minus five. This next one we've made much smaller. So our little index will be a positive number. And we are moving to the right again. One, two, three, four places. So we stick a four here and we've finished another one. This next one, we are going to be moving to the left again. One, two places. So it's minus two. The next one, we only need to move one to the left. So this is minus one. How about the last one? Pause the video if you need to. So the first step, we find the first number that is not a zero, starting from the left. In this case, that's a nine. So we put the decimal point after that and we get 9.3. The other way of thinking about it is where can you put the decimal point to turn this number into a number that is greater or equal to 1 but less than 10, which 9.3 is. If you got that right, well done, but if you didn't, that's not a problem, that's how you learn. Now we have made this number much smaller than the original, so to make this the same number as the original, we need to multiply it by 10 to the power of 1, 2, 3. Again, well done if you got that right, but if you didn't, don't worry about it. You're learning just by having a go. If you want to go backwards and convert standard form to an ordinary number, then you just need to put the point, so the point here is between 6 and 2, so I'll put it here, and then the little index number is minus 5, so we jump the decimal point backwards 5 steps. One two, three, four, five. You'd put the decimal point here and then you get your answer. Remember, if you're doing this yourself, then these zeros won't be there, so you'll have to put them in. So you'd write out your decimal number, jump the point back, one, two, three, four, five, and in these empty spaces, you just put the zero. That's all for this video. We really hoped you enjoyed it, found it useful. Be sure to check out the quiz, which is on our website. Link should be description or there should be a QR code popping up right now. Um, in our next video, we'll be showing you how to do calculations of standard form. That's adding, subtracting, timesing and multi no, multiplying and dividing. Um, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a good day. Bye.